Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Benny Atruda, and welcome back to Fallout 2, where last time, well, let's just say I'm pretty happy with my new weapon loadout. It seems to be doing the job pretty well. I am now the king of Murder Mountain, everything is wonderful. And also last time, I thought we were done with Vault City and Gecko for now, but the comments tell me I am very much not. I've missed something very important that would lead to something else very important that would lead to something else very important. So let's just go back there because apparently, yeah, important. I literally just took one step and more slavers attacked. In fact, it might be the same slavers as last time. Clearly they don't know what happened to their compatriots just down the road. In fact, yeah, it's literally the same band, just, you know, not dead. So this guy here, he's got himself a shotgun, so he needs to go down first. Now, I do have a 95% chance of hitting him in the eyes, which would be very, very nice indeed if I got the critical. Yeah, go for it. And there we go. I actually hit him for... Wow, critical is only 29. Not bad, but to be honest, yeah, because it wasn't a massive increase in damage, I'd probably been better off just shooting him a couple of times. In which case, best thing I can do is probably back away from him, because he's got a shotgun. They're taking a shot at me, but from very long range. And ouch! Never mind, I've been shot. Right, okay, this is this is going badly, and, and now, now I'm dead. Okay, so, good start. Okay, let's try this again, but this time, not get murdered. Ah, pack of wild dogs. Well, that's no problem at all. In fact, as they're at close range, and I've got tons of ammo for this thing... May as well see. Can I actually... No, not... Not him. No. Why is the dog entirely behind Sue? Like, that's no good at all. Right. Can we just one-shot a dog? And tragically, no, we cannot. So that was 14 damage. 11 out of 25. Right. So, two shots should reliably take down a dog. Fine. And Sulik, I'm going to be honest, burst fire might be a little bit overkill. Please don't waste the ammo when we don't need to. And I'm going to be hit by a little bit. Yeah, the dogs can't get through my armor, to be honest. So that's absolutely fine. And Vic takes a shot. And seriously, stop burst firing, you bastards. And one shot. And hang on. Hang on. There's, there's another dog. I can see the other dog. I can, I can see the other dog game. Ah, right, out of ammo. That'd be why I can't shoot. Well, that's fine. Get out the rifle. Take one shot. And you are not quite dead. Vic, please finish off the dog. Job should be nice and done. There we go. Lovely. In all fairness, that's an easy 375 XP, which is as much as some minor quests give you, so that's fine. So, the thing I specifically missed, the vault. Apparently, there's a lot more in the vault than a joke about water chips. So we already opened up these doors because, yeah, these actually had some containers in them. I'm looking for something else. Here we go. We got ourselves a locker. But just in case, I'm going to open up literally everything. Ah, small problem though. Some of these doors aren't actually locked. They're just jammed. It would take a very strong person to open it. And sadly, Sulik's not offering. Some of them are locked though. So let's just get all these open, see what we can find. Here we go, medicine cabinet, so help myself to some Radex and a cosmetics case. Okay, I'm going to take that just in case someone wants that for some reason. And an empty hypodermic needle. I've seen those around before, so they're not rare, I'll just leave that be. Here we go, another container right here, and this is, ooh, a whole bunch of stuff, hello. So, lighter, radio, scout handbook, I assume that's the outdoorsman ability. I'll take some, yeah, flares and knives. That's some useful stuff. In fact, you know what? I'll just take everything. I can't carry that much. That button has betrayed me. Fine, I'll leave behind the radio and the lighter. I'm not sure they do anything. And one final locked door at the end over here. There we go. Open nice and easy. I have invested in lock picking a fair bit. Right, check around. And what have we got in here, if anything? Aha! One more container hidden around the back here. And... Ah! That's why you wanted me to come back here. Wrenchers. Gotcha. And weight capacity. Right. Need to hand over some stuff to other people. You know what? I'll just read the scout handbook right now. Get that out of my inventory. There we go. I've learned a lot about wilderness survival. Right. So I've got that. I've already got some tools. But if I can, I'd rather take it. And the crowbar. Now... I'm kind of curious. The two doors I can't open, they're saying it would take a very strong person to open. But, 
A crowbar is specifically designed to let people who are not that strong, like, you know, open stuff. So, would that maybe help? I'm just gonna give it a go on the off chance. So, this door right here, I can't actually lock that. Yeah, very strong person. And there's no way- Ooh! Okay, technically I do have a 66% chance to hit the door. So, I'm not sure that's helping, to be honest. Yeah, Sulik's not jumping in to offer to help. I don't have any buff out or anything like that. And even then, my strength's only four, so uh, that will boost it to uh, six or seven. Probably still not enough, because it does say it would take a very strong person to open. So yeah, that's two doors. The one down over here on the bottom left, and this one at the top, second in from the left. So sadly, that locker is just a mystery to me. Okay, and while I'm actually at the vault, I may as well check in on my rad level. So just use that nice and fast, and zero. Fine, so I don't need to be de irradiated. May as well top up my health while I'm here though, if that's free as well. Ooh, yes, also, I've got some jet for you. Sorry, I'd forgotten about that. So, a thousand dollars for me, absolutely spot on. And there we go, free health top up, lovely. Okay, I desperately need to find some more shops with money, because uh, my inventory is full up and I really need to get rid of some stuff. And everyone's gone to bed, haven't they? Yes, I suppose that's reasonable. Ooh, you haven't, that's good. Oh no, never mind, she's not willing to do business with me right now. Fair enough, we'll wait till morning. Though weirdly you're not allowed to wait in this area, even when you are a citizen. I feel like that restriction should be taken off you when you become a citizen. Actually, this'll do. Those two 10mm automatics I got off those slavers, I can trade them in just a handful of dollars for plenty of shotgun ammo from a new shotgun, and plenty of ammo to make sure Sulik and Vic can keep firing indefinitely. Love it. And that means I can indeed now start using my shotgun a bit, because yeah, I've got some spare ammo for it. And weirdly, yeah, it actually just seems to be better than my pistol in just about every way. Holds more ammo in a clip, greater range, greater damage, same action point usage, but also comes with a burst mode, which is interesting for a shotgun, but okay. The assault rifle is much, much weaker, but the advantage that's got is in range, and now both of those actually do have burst fire. But... I'll use the pistol for now, just because you don't always need the shotgun. If we come across anything tough, crack out the shotgun for that. But day to day, start using this pistol, because it's already starting to outlive its usefulness, which is unfortunate, because I just spent a lot of money on ammo for it. Right, back to Valerie. And now, I've got the tools and the wrench for you. Love it. So here you go, have some tools. Yep, all yours for free. They're not great, but they'll do. You're very welcome, I suppose. And apparently that's worth a few caps. Lovely. So no problem. Glad to help. I'll be polite even if she's not. I've got work to do. Come back in a day or two. I'll have some time to chat. See you tomorrow then. Right, okay. Come back tomorrow. Gotcha. Still, 250 XP up front. That's not too bad. All right, following morning, back to Valerie. And uh, you won't believe this, not less than a day after you gave me the tools, the super toolkit I ordered arrived, but not just one. They sent me five. What the hell is wrong with the ordering office? And, uh, ah, super toolkit. Right, I'll take the other four off your hands. Thank you very, very much indeed. And now I've got myself a super toolkit. And that means we're going back to Gecko, because I think we might have everything we need to get a car running. Oh, hang on. Vic and Valerie want to have another chat. So, uh, good to see you again. Nothing else? No, bit awkward. Right, anything else from Valerie, just in case she's got any more missions for us. And, uh, ooh, hang on. We do have a bit more with her. So, yeah, what's the deal with you and your dad? Because you seem to not really be getting on very much. Nothing worth mentioning, he came here 20 years ago on one of his caravan trips, knocked up my mom and left. Until he stopped by, I hadn't seen him in about five years. No loss. Right, so she's a bit angry, and to be fair, she's right to be. He has been extremely absent. Sounds like you two have some things to work out, though. And uh, no, we don't. We've said all we need to say a long time ago. And are you absolutely sure, Valerie? Are you absolutely sure you want to shut this door forever? Yes, I'm sure. Except for the fact I think he should lose some weight. He's got quite a spare tie going. And he should stop wandering around the way selling junk to tribals. That's pretty much it. You know what? That's actually fair criticism. He is basically a bit of a con man. And let's see if I can push them to potentially make up a little bit. Go on then. And uh, you've got a sarcastic edge. I like that. As for old dad, I'll try and be a little more civil. For a while anyway. Make sure he stays out of trouble alright. Okay, so she still cares a little bit. At the bare minimum, she doesn't want him dead. And for that, I get 250 XP and 3 karma. Love it. 
And she still won't sell to me. She's not as sharp. Even if I actually hit the barter button. No, she will not barter with me. But she is still offering to repair. So show her your rifles. Any chance you would do some upgrades and... Aha! That assault rifle you've got there. I can give it an expanded magazine for... Ooh, that's a bit pricey to be honest actually. Anything else you could do? And maybe... What have you got? Just show the rifles. Yeah, just the assault rifle. So... Honestly, the assault rifle is not my best weapon. It's already on its way out. Its damage range is fairly low. So that's a bit expensive. I'm going to leave that be. In which case, I think we are now actually done with Vault City. But now we've got business at Gecko again. Nice fast trip. Because yeah, between Gecko and Vault City, there's no mountains. So we can at least move at a fair pace here. Something though. And uh, some robbers searching with wild dogs. You know what? We'll just skip that. My outdoorsman's a bit higher than it was. Thanks to that scout's handbook. And we make it to Gecko no problem. So, first things first, we need to go to the manager's office because, yeah, there was talk of a requisition order or something. And Harold might have one of those. So, what can we do with you? And there is nothing I can do to actually speak to Harold about the requisition order. Right. Maybe he's got it somewhere in his house in that case. Here we are, part requisition form. And on top of that, yellow passkey. So another one over here in his desk. Does he mind me taking that? No, he does not seem to mind that at all. Lovely. And in the power plant, I can trade that with Jeremy for a part that Skeeter wanted. Now, I'm about to head over to Skeeter anyway, because, yeah, I need to give him the super toolkit in return for, what was it, the fuel cell controller for the car back in the den. So, I might be able to give him something else at the same time. So, here's the request authorization form. I don't know what it's actually authorizing, so... I need a mass-covered three-handed gradunza. What is that? I don't know what that is. Right, so I've got the requisition form, but I don't know what it is I want to requisition. So I might need to go and ask Skeeter about that. All right, Skeeter. Got myself a yep toolkit. So it is a deal. Toolkit for fuel cell controller. So you should be able to plug that sucker in and get a car working. And you know I could do you another favor by fixing up some of your stuff for free too. Okay, what do you want to upgrade for me? And, uh, well, you see I need a darn three-step plasma. Ooh! Okay, I know exactly how to get that. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, I'm being challenged here. You're not a friend of Skeeter's, are you? He's always trying to get me to give him valuable supplies. Then he just breaks it. And, uh, no, I've never even heard of Skeeter, actually. So, uh, here's the form. Everything's legit. And, uh, yeah, three-step plasma transformer, please. And there we go, I've now got myself a plasma transformer to go with my fuel cell controller, to go with my, hang on, I've got something else at the bottom here, like a fuel cell regulator or something that I pulled out of another car. I'm not sure what that one does, but fuel cell regulator. Right, so I've got multiple fuel and plasma thingies. Hand him the plasma regulator and he's now offering me some free work, lovely. So, what could we actually do here? Looks like you could bolt an accessory to this long arm here. Are you literally talking about my arm? Hang on, what what arm are we talking about here? Oh, apparently assault rifles have long arms. He wants to do the same upgrade that Valerie wants to charge me $1,500 for, but he's going to do it for free. So I'm really glad I didn't pay Valerie, actually. Yeah, expand that, please. Lovely. And no other weapons he can upgrade, but I'm guessing if I were to come back with more weapons later, he'd probably be charging me for those. Still, another 350 XP there, so we are levelling up fast here. And, oh, bloody hell, he was not kidding about the extended magazine. A hundred bullets per magazine now. Okay, I can see the advantage there. You can basically go for an entire extended fight without ever reloading, even if you're using burst fire. Right, that's pretty good. Also, one thing I was curious about. Is this side over here for real, or is this just to scare people off? So, hang on... Get out the Geiger counter. Let's check if just being here gives me rats. No, that sign is just to scare people off. Got it. So now we've got one hell of a walk ahead of us. We need to go all the way back over to the den to pick up the car. And while I'm on that side of the world, I kind of may as well visit Klamath and finally learn how to skin geckos. Because why not? That might be the last time I ever visit the den. I feel like I'm pretty much done there. So uh, may as well stop off on Modoc on the way past just because it'll be a good chance for me to recover. And actually, I may as well head directly for Modoc, because uh, this area over here is not actually hills. So therefore, that'll be a faster journey than going down to Vault City and then crossing the mountains. So, uh, 
If we go this route right over here, that should be my best bet. And we've run into something, and it is... Uh, okay, a bunch of scavengers who say I need to pay a toll. I think I don't need to pay a toll. I think you're going to be murdered now. So how tough are these guys? And uh, 57 out of 57, Desert Eagle. Is it the same for all of you? Yeah, Desert Eagle and about 57 hit points. Fine. So, in which case, you're standing nice and close to me, my good man. Time to go over to... Actually, ooh... What's the best option here? I just went into my inventory, didn't I? Right, well, in which case we're going into burst fire, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. So burst fire for you. Good luck with this. So that's going to do a bunch of damage right there. So hang on, 33 hit points. Can't really do anything else, so may as well take a step away from these guys. Yeah, there we are, just over to here. And everybody else, yeah, they don't have guns, so I'm not worried about them. Their basic attack's not going to do much to me. I'm taking some light damage, and why exactly did you... No! What are you doing? You have a gun! Use it! Right, I'm not worried about the little guys. They're not too much of a problem at all. They are missing. They're just punching. Punching does not do that much damage. And uh, that guy just took a shot. I think you need to pay a toll. Yes, I got it. This is all a great big scam. Vic was just hit for 16. What are you doing? Why are you trying to punch people? You have a gun. Did you just critically fail and drop it or something? Right, go over to pistol. Let's actually just get the pistol done here. We might be able to finish off this guy in one shot. There we go. He's dead. Love it. You over there. Let's just get some damage on you two. So that is critical for 33. Not bad at all. Sulix being knocked down. This is going less well than it should do because Sulix decided he can't be bothered to use his gun. Luckily, yeah, those guys are basically completely worthless. Aside from the knockdown, which is robbing action points off my companions, my armor could just about take what's being done to it, but not for too much longer. Right, I just need to take down these guys. So one and two should finish you off. Come on, there we go. Second guy with the guns taken care of. So now it's just the punching people. And actually, thanks to the armor, it's doing literally no damage because of damage threshold. Vic's being hit pretty badly, but he does have a stim pack, so that's good. And also, I'm still being shot. Right, 95% chance to hit these guys. Do I want to go for burst fire with the rifle? No, let's just take the two shots reliably. And Sulik is refusing to get up, which is very annoying. Right, so you have been hit for, yeah, actually, 42. So you're going to go down very easily. Sulik, please get the hell up. Vic is just being punched in the face. Yeah, he's making a run for it, and I don't blame him. I'm being repeatedly shot, and Vic's dead. Right, okay, let's try this again. I'm just gonna have a quick word with Sulik here, just to make sure he's still using the... Yeah, the 10 millimeter. Please actually use it. I've no idea why he decided he wanted to get into a fist fight there. He just did, and... What the heck is this? Right, ghoul crazies, and... Many of them seem to have guns. Right, except one of them with a gun just actually started running at me. What the hell are you guys armed with? So... Sawn off shotguns. I'm surrounded by people with sawn off shotguns. I'm going to die. Right. So, ghoul crazies floating around here. I see. How much health do they have? 53 hit points. Okay. Best bet is either burst fire or criticals. But go for it. Oh, that'll do the job right there. Right, just start mowing them down, please, and keep your distance, because they've got shotguns. They're taking shots against me. I'm going to be murdered. I'm just going to be... What the hell can I do against this? What am I supposed to do against this many shotguns? This is ridiculous. Right, okay, everyone's about to die again. Good. And yeah, Vic just is immediately killed. Vic is just dead, and Sulik's on the ground. Oh, I've no idea what I was supposed to do here. Right, third time's a charm. Well, I have, of course, noticed I am walking close by to the ghost farm. Possibly this is just terrifying ghoul territory and you should keep your distance. Right, something up in the mountains. A bunch of crazies. No, I'll be bypassing the bunch of crazies, actually. The bunch of crazies are extremely dangerous. Right, we're over the mountain, so we should start accelerating at this point over the plain. So we're about halfway to Modoc now. Come on. Let's get there, please. And something else. Do we get a choice? And a caravan being ambushed by highwaymen. 
I'm going to intervene there, because then we'll have assistance. So, where are the highwaymen? Where are the caravans? Hang on, who's who? Here we go, so merchants over here. Meaning on this side, we've got the highwaymen. Honestly, it feels like the merchants and their bodyguards will probably be able to handle this, so... Uh, we want to stay out of the way for the time being, just back off and get ready to be involved later when we can start picking off the highwaymen. And there we go, they've already started firing, but at long range, they're missing. So, everybody just stay out of the way. In fact, actually, yeah, the merchant outnumbers the highwayman. This is a very bad robbery. May as well just end my turn there for some bonus armor class, just for increased evade in case they do decide to take a shot at me. The merchant's running up first, and actually, do you guys have... Yes, at least one of you does have a gun. So, they're just knocking some people down there. Lucky critical right there, knocking you to the ground. How many of you have got guns? I think at least three of you do. Yeah, actually, it's all four. Fine. So these guys, at least some of them have guns. I'm not sure how many of these guys have guns. Hang on, I've got awareness. I can check. Yeah, these guys have all got 10mm SMGs. So if they use burst fire, they're going to destroy these guys. These guys, meanwhile, have... Uh, ah, shotguns. Right, well, that's got to be worth some good money right there. And also, this person's got something I haven't seen before. An FNFLA. So whatever that is, we probably want that. Once again, don't get involved just yet. Let them attack each other for the time being, because, yeah, you just shot your own friend, didn't you? Yes, yes, you did. You shot the guy who pays you. That's really going to be bad for you at your next evaluation. So, the merchant's being shot. I'd rather the merchant wasn't shot, to be honest. Do I want to get involved at this point? The merchant only has 10 hit points left. I'd rather he survived, but these guys are still pretty tough for the time being. And you are... Yeah, you've got most of your health. You've got all of your health. Are these guys... How much health do you have? These guys have got plenty of health. Yeah, the merchant's gonna die. We're not getting involved just yet. But we'll wait until... Ooh, he actually managed to heal himself up. I'd stay behind your bodyguards. That's kind of what they're for, isn't it? And there we go. Now we're getting into burst fire. Love it. So a couple of single shots. One bit of burst fire right there. The merchant is just about staying alive. But only just... Keep on waiting for the time being until they start going down. The merchant really wants to take down that one person. She's actually dead at the back there. That is... Oh, excuse me. Please do not shoot at me. Right, we need to stay more out of the way. Because I just got shot there. Another person is dead. Right, so I've... Oh, no. No, Vic. What are you doing? Vic. Vic, no. Vic. No. Why? Why the combat knife? Vic, no. It was an accident. We don't want to... Okay, fine. We're doing this then. We're just murdering everybody. Right, get out, pistol. I guess we're at war with these guys because Vix decided we are. So, 86%. Down. Yep, 22 hit points. Finish him off, please. He goes down. Right, so we're now signing up with the flipping merchants. Gotcha. And... You're shooting somebody, and obviously now people are shooting. Everyone's just shooting everybody. I've no idea who's attacking who right now. Now everyone's just taking everyone else. It's a madhouse. Sulik, am I going to have to take that knife off you? Because I suspect I am, yes. So this guy's at full health. This guy is a little bit weak. That guy is still doing pretty well. Fine. Uh, Just start opening fire on this guy over here in a minute. Yeah, let's just start getting some damage on him. 18 and 14. Not too bad. Those two are still fighting at the top. He's not dead. I'm still okay. And that guy's being shot. Vic is now trying to take out that guy. <laughs> oh god, those two are still skirmishing. Sulik is still refusing to use a bloody gun. Right, I need to take Sulik's melee weapons off him. Because for some reason he's determined to use them. Right, take four steps forward. Go over to my rifle. Put it into burst mode and fire at the guy in the middle here. And that does some good damage to everybody. That's pretty bloody good right there. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. But I'm being shot back, actually. They've all got healing things. Oh, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Yes, yes, I am. No, I got really lucky. There was a bunch of missing going on there. Those two guys are now skirmishing still at the top. Bloody hell, boss, I'm not doing so well here. Well, maybe you shouldn't have declared war on the merchant caravan, Vic. Because that was actually you, you stupid bastard. Right, continue just shooting all of those guys. One of them's dead. You're welcome. 
I lost 10 karma. Well, I didn't start this. They started this. And then Vic continued it. Not my fault. Right, end my turn there for a bit of extra bonus dodge. That fight for the ages is continuing at the top there. I'm still being shot, but that was a miss. I think that was another miss there. Good. Multiple misses. Vic misses too. You're still trying to take out that guy with a knife. You finally bloody did it. How are these guys doing? Right, 33 and 12. Right, so go for a burst on the 33 guy. And hopefully, yep, take out the other guy too. Good. So I've lost another 10 karma. Sorry about that. He's at 12. So at this point, I now want to step back and let Vic actually take the shot. That was only three. Vic finishes off that guy. Right. What do we do now? I mean, I guess we finish off the highwayman too, right? I mean, the merchant's dead. <laughs> okay, this is, this is good. This final guy's got to be nearly dead, right? Actually, not so much. Uh, in which case, yeah, just take an aimed shot at him because I accidentally reloaded. So, yeah, 76 to the head. And down he goes. Nice, that was actually, yep, yeah, big critical for 38. Lovely. So, I've gained, I've gained 5 karma. Is everybody dead at this point? Because I think they are. Yes, yeah, so everybody's dead. I didn't really want everyone to be dead, but I suppose that's more loot, so it's fine. Okay, Sulik, hand over the melee weapons. You're not allowed to use them anymore. Hand over both of the sledgehammers and the combat knife. So, new gun here. We've got ourselves a rifle that's been widely used by armed forces more than any other rifle in history. Reliable assault weapon for any terrain or tactical situation. Strength of five. You know what? Let's just actually get it inside my inventory so we can have a bit of a better look at it. Damage of nine to 18. Not terrible, to be honest, but I've not seen as much ammo floating around for it. Does still come with a burst mode, but I feel like, yeah, I may just get rid of that just because I'm pretty happy with my assault rifle with the extended magazine. Ooh, we got ourselves a Magnum revolver right there as well. Okay, good stuff here. And shotgun ammo, sawn off shotgun. Right, compare that to my existing shotgun. Okay, so this murder is definitely going to be useful in some ways. In fact, good point. Every single one of these guys has a 10mm automatic on them. Every single one of those is worth $1,000. Now, compare the shotguns here. So the Sawn-Off shotgun is damage range of 12 to 22. Range of 14 only contains two shots. Fine, so it's terrible next to the shotgun I already had. Gotcha. And the Magnum Revolver is not great either. Yeah, my 14mm pistol has higher range, more damage... In general, it's better, but I should compare that to the Desert Eagle because 44 Magnum is what Vic's currently using. So for him, this might be an upgrade. Well, he claims the Desert Eagle is still his best weapon, so I guess that's probably true. Right, six days of camping later, everyone's back up to good health. Let's try and get all this stuff back to town so we can flog it. Oh, we are still some way off though. But then again, we do have flat terrain ahead of us and if we're lucky outdoors, we'll kick in. Can we just skip this, please? No, it's some wild dogs and spore plants. Right, of all the things we could run into, that's probably one of the less dangerous. Let's just murder that. Ah, but there's also sounds inside the cave. So after we're done with this, more exploring to be done. Now, just murder these plants, please. Oh yeah, they're going down nice and easy. And on this occasion, Sulik, what are you doing? I have specifically taken every melee weapon away from you, given you the 10mm SMG, which is... Sulik, no! What What have you done? Why would you run to the far side of the plant so you have a shot at Vic after you... No! Sulik, you're so fired! The moment I have the option to have anyone else in the team, you are gone! Right, just start taking out the damn plants. Hopefully Sulik won't murder me, which he appears to be trying to do intentionally at this point. And we're taking some very small amounts of damage. Sulik once again took a shot that totally could have hit me, but didn't by sheer bloody coincidence. I can just finish off these here dogs. 16 and dead. Lovely. Sulik, please turn around in such a way as you will not hit me with the spray. And Sulik has been knocked over. Ouch! She's actually been badly hurt there, just in terms of critical. Nothing too bad, though. We can actually fix him up. That needs to be... You know what, I won't reload. I'll just go over to uh, Rifle. These are basic dogs. 
we can handle this. And unlike you, Sue, like, I'm not actually going to shoot you by accident, you stupid bastard. And Vic is helping out too. I can get in there, hit that dog, start shooting plants as well. There's another dog right there. Finish you off momentarily. And yep, it's coming for me. And good attempt, Vic. Good attempt. And the dog goes down. Love it. Start finishing off the plant. Sula gets back up again. And anytime he's ready. Anytime he's... There we go. Now he's getting it. Use your gun on enemies in such a way as you don't hit me. Love it. And I think these guys actually don't have the range to hit me. Which is unfortunate because I've got the... Did you just shoot me too? Why is everybody shooting me today? Please stop it. I can't move. I've only got enough action points to shoot twice. And down the last plant goes. Love it. And I'm actually getting better. Apparently I've... Ooh, everyone's leveled up. Better and flipping better. Love it. And Vic's also got more competent too. So hopefully he'll stop shooting me. Though in all fairness, he's not the big one for that, all right? He's no Ian. Suluk is taking the Ian role on this occasion. Ah, oh, loving those skill points. No perk, unfortunately, but this'll still do. Right, what's my priority at this point? Because guns are looking pretty good, but they could be better. Let's just get that a little bit further up, please. Oh, hang on. These days I'm spending... Ah, now I'm spending two skill points to boost that. And over a certain level, yeah, over 120, over 127 for some reason. I'm now starting to spend three skill points to boost that by two. So you know what? Actually, 125 is fine. You know, I wouldn't mind boosting throwing because grenades I do rather like in this game. I think grenades are pretty good, but science is good. So's repair, but I do have Vic with me. So uh, yeah, I'm going to boost up science a bit. Let's start getting science moving in the right direction here. And a handful more hit points too, which I really need. I am a bit squishy. Right, into the cave. What's actually here on this occasion? It is a big old pile of scorpions. Honestly, seems to be mostly just free XP. I don't see anything else here, but may as well finish them off, to be honest. I've got plenty of ammo in the 14mm pistol. So this is just trading cheap ammo I've got plenty of and a gun I want to retire at some point for XP. So go on then. Why not? In fact, yeah, we're just one-shotting these guys. Love it. Oh, yeah, we're just walking in, murdering them, dropping them. Beautiful. Even at long range, they do not stand a chance. Yep, yeah, screw you, you stupid bastards. I'm walking in. This is my cave now. I'm pretty sure they're actually running. They are terrified of me. They don't know where I am. They're just hiding deeper inside their cave. I'm starting to feel bad about this. And last one, I think... Goes down. Yep, every single one of them was just merged in a single hit. So, uh, may as well just reload. That should be the end of things, right? Anything else here? Yep, 720 XP. Very, very nice indeed. Nothing else here as far as I can tell, though. It's just a random cave of scorpions. Still, I'm doing the world a favour by clearing it out. And continue on the road to Modoc. Because, yeah, I would still like to use their shops while I'm actually passing by here. We've had a bit of an easy jaunt so far. Nothing too terrible. Outdoorsman hasn't triggered, though. I'd like Outdoorsman to trigger on the next event if it wouldn't mind. Uh, that'd be flipping great, but almost made it to... Oh, another event. And no option. Band of Robbers. Doesn't seem so bad because uh, there's a few of them, but they are at range. Time to identify the threats here. So, yeah, that guy's just got himself a knife. Who's got a gun and are they bad guns? That is a shotgun, fine, but sawn off, so low range. Bunch of desert eagles as well. More combat knives. You at the back have 10mm SMG. Watch out for you. Fine. This isn't nothing, to be honest. If the opportunity presents itself, I might throw a grenade right into the middle of them. Right, may as well take the chance here. So, yeah, 90% into the eyes. And what have we actually managed there? Critical in the eyes and it caused blindness so he won't be able to hit me very easily anymore. May as well just start gently falling backwards over here. And these guys are running in. Not taking a shot yet. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a lovely grenade against these guys. That would be just great actually. And someone just took a pot shot. Nope, they missed. And there we go. That's what I want you to do. I'd like you to use the 10mm. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. 
I'm going to give it a go here. I'm going into my inventory. Let's actually try and use a, a flipping grenade. Because this seems like a good opportunity for it. That or burst fire. But I want to give grenades a go. So, one grenade that can be thrown and that's literally all I can do. And my chance of hitting is, oh, low. Like, really low. I need to get a bit closer. Possibly need Sulik to just not be blocking me. So, I need four to throw it. I've got eight right now. So, I can take four steps in this direction. So, one, two, three, four. Right. Now, you know what? Give it a go, give it a go, give it a go. I'm so sorry if that hit you, Sulek. Right, sorry about that. Now I'm going to die. This was a mistake, actually. Yes, as it turns out. And I've been shot a little bit. Yep, more of them coming in. And uh, right, Sulek's probably got the right idea here. But now he's standing too close to them. So I can't burst fire them. Which, oh dear. Right, okay. I may have actually decided to take the wrong tactic here. Right, go for, yeah, aim shot against this guy. And 95 to the head. And do we get the critical there? Critical for 34. Not terrible, but not great either. In which case, take two steps backwards and then reload. Uh, though I should just go into my inventory, to be honest. I mean, yeah, you know what? Because I can do that. I can reload in my inventory. So just go into inventory for two, reload, and at the same time, get the grenade back off again. Because the grenade is not doing the job here. In fact, you know what? This seems dangerous. I'm going over to shotgun. There we go. Gun reloaded. Shotgun available. I might be about to be murdered, but we'll see. And, oh, I've just been shot by a shotgun. Luckily, he missed. Sulik is down, but not dead. But now he's going to be in a lot of trouble, actually. Okay, more shots coming in, but they're in a dangerous position. Sulik, get out of the way, Sulik. Sulik, what are you going to do? Oh, I thought he was going to burst fire, but he didn't. Right. I would like to burst fire with a shotgun right into these guys. But on the other hand... I feel like this is not going to be a good idea. Yeah, burst fire. Right over. Sulik, duck! Oh, that actually worked pretty well, actually. Good. Marvellous. That was pretty solid. I like that. That was, however, really, really, really ammo intensive. You know what? Let's just drop a reload and back off slightly. Actually, you know what? No. I'll just end my turn there. Take another 2% evasion. Light tap's coming in from Vic. Light attack's coming in on me. I say light. Actually, I could be in a bit of trouble. And lots of missing going on. A big burst attack there. Sulik is just tearing them up. Love it. Right, back to me. Do I want to get two attacks in or a single attack, but also do some healing? Might be safer to heal, you know. Who's actually left here? So, you're at full health and you've got the 10mm. You are dangerous. You are a bit damaged, but only got a Desert Eagle. And you are another Desert Eagle. I might be safest just trying to absolutely annihilate this person. Because, yeah, actually, oh, hang on. What's the damage range on this thing? I don't think it's high enough to actually finish her off with two shots. So, I'm going to go for a burst fire and... Ah, oh, that didn't kill her. That was... Wait, what? I'm not strong enough to... Am I not? Wait, hang on, I thought I was. Ooh, that's, that's a problem. Right, hang on. Strength of five. I thought this was strength of five. Right, um, go into inventory. Double check that right now so I know what I'm dealing with. No, six. Right, sorry, I misread that at some point. Okay, I see the problem here. Okay, well now I'm in the inventory, I can also heal up. So let's just do that for safety. So, one stim pack, that's much better. Get rid of shotgun, because apparently not as good as I thought, because I'm not as strong as I hoped. And now, yeah, just take the extra evasion, 30% of aid. And a shot comes in over there. I get shot, single shot, not so bad, and a miss too. Oh, I've got knocked over. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm just alive. I'm only just alive right now. Right, that was really unlucky. I got hit by a really bad critical there. Another person's dead. Why would you attack that one? That person didn't have the knife. Now I've only got myself. Oh, okay. Right, back to inventory. More healing. I'm still not in great shape though. I've only got 20 hit points. I can take one shot. Take it at this person. Hope we get lucky. And, okay, 13. Someone else, please get a critical. And why do you keep attacking me? That was a miss. That was a miss. And that wasn't at me. Okay, now, now we're good. Because Zulik is just murdering everybody. Right, go back over to pistol right now. Single shot. How's everybody's health? 
you've got 49, but now it's just Desert Eagles, which, unless they just happen to get a critical, is not so bad. So you know what? I'm just going to take a double shot against you. So that is, yeah, 17. And that should leave you easy to be finished off. Yep, there we are. Vic gets the actual killing blow there. You went for Sulik. Sulik used the stim pack and then started punching. Um, fair enough, I suppose. I'll take a single shot. I'm very accurate. So that is, ooh, a miss on 95%. Dear, oh dear. 13. Vic takes a shot too. And they take a shot at me. That was also a miss. And, oh, that was only six hit points. Right, okay. That was less than I was expecting. Okay, 95. Just keep shooting. Sooner or later. And she's had her arm blown off. Right, job done. Well done, everybody. Bit difficult, that fight. And yeah, luckily, we can get a handful of stim packs off them. In fact, all of them have got stim packs. Right, love it. That means I haven't lost medical supplies in this fight. And possibly some more looting as well, because there's a nice house here. So just a quick look around, see if we can find anything good. A handful of drugs, nothing major. Right, time for another chill out session and... Uh, what do you mean I can't rest at this location? Boo! I kind of need to rest at this location because I'm very flimsy right now. Sometimes the game just arbitrarily decides you can't rest at a particular location. It's rather odd. Maybe it's because it's radioactive. There is a radiation sign right over there. Let's just check out the radiation garage. Fire pit. Toolbox over here. Nothing major as far as I can see. Well, in that case, crack on, because we are getting close by to Modoc, and basically, just hope. Hope we don't run into any more trouble, or if we do, we can outdoorsman our way around it, because we're very close now. Very close to Modoc, where we can do some buying, some selling, maybe get Vic some better quality armor, because yeah, this is where the armor store is, so that'd be good. And we've made it good. Right, Joe, I really hope you've got some money here because I have got so much to sell you. He's got literally no money whatsoever. Right, you know what? I guess I'll trade for stim packs then. Right, try the tannery. We might have better luck over there. Here we go, $491 and some leather armor, which I could probably do with giving to Vic, yes. And congratulations, Vic. I've decided to give you actual armor. Ah, there he goes. Much better, Vic. Much better. And yeah, revisiting the shotgun, now I know that I can't actually use the bigger shotgun because of the strength requirement on it. Yeah, it's actually no better than my 14mm pistol. So I may as well just sell that as that's got the better range and I've got more ammo for it. Though then again, Vic, I can handle almost any rifle or shotgun. Okay, that's worth having a think about. Well, if I can't use this properly, he may as well. Now, is he willing to go over to it? Yes, he is. Right, we've got ourselves a competent shotgun user here. Love it. Oh, and even better for what I did for the town. Yeah, the inn is willing to give me a free omelette, which just completely topped up my health. So that is magnificent. So this is starting to get interesting at this point. At Vault City, I can heal myself and heal my rads for free anytime I want. At Modog... I can now actually heal myself for free anytime I want through Rosa's Omelette. So, yeah, I'm actually getting a real tangible reward for doing all of these quests. I've got some really good safe havens to heal for no cost all throughout the wasteland. Alright, ready to leave Modoc here, and there's the den right there. It's not actually that far, but we've run into trouble in this part of the world before, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, especially as you're over the mountains. It is slow going. And I've barely left town. What do we have here? More robbers. Right. Very similar to what we've already seen before. And I immediately take 16 hit points. Lovely. Start taking handful of pot shots against these guys. And yeah, now Vic has actually got himself a big old shotgun. And ooh, yes, that'll do. Vic has actually got much more firepower these days. Oh yeah, you guys have made a mistake. You guys have made a big mistake now, because now, now we can just start picking you guys off. And, ooh, that'll do. That might have been overkill, actually. He's flipping running for it, too. Yeah, you just flipping try it, you stupid losers. And, oh, they're just being shredded now. You didn't want to do this at all, did you? No, you did not, actually. Keep firing. She's got to be almost dead now. And, yep. There's another one as goes down. I think they're scattering, actually. Yes. 
Right, that guy's got spiked knuckles, more spiked knuckles. You've got a gun, but you're almost dead. So, ooh, I don't have a shot at you, apparently. Right, well, guys, time to move forward, actually. And, ah, that's why I can't shoot you, because I've not got ammo in my gun. Right, well, we can just use this if we're lucky. That might finish you off, and I think we got a bit lucky on the damage range there. They are actually genuinely running for it. Please don't take the shot. No, no, Sulek. I told him, don't take a burst shot unless you're confident you won't hit me. What does he do? Take a burst shot that hits me. You see, that was actually going pretty well right up to the point where he shot me. Oh, we've run into something and uh, some homeless people. Okay, they don't sound too dangerous. So, ah, it turns out they are desperately hungry. Are we... No, we're not actually fighting, though. Um, can we actually, like, do anything with them? Hello, give us food, help us, money for the less fortunate. Right, they're not actually willing to, to do anything, aside, of course, from... Okay, there's a girl over here who's not actually walking towards us. Hello, are you in any way important? La, 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 I can't hear you. Right. So, I don't have any food on me. It's time to... Uh-oh. What? What's going on? Why are they attacking? Guys, I think we should just go, actually. This is getting weird. Oh, bloody hell, Vic. Don't chill out. No, guys. He literally just got out a stick. Guys, this is unnecessarily violent. Fine. Well, I guess we're just getting the XP at this point. Okay, so we've murdered, like, half of them. And now the fight is over. Because... Dear, oh dear. Right, let's actually just go, because now we're just murdering the homeless. Please stop shooting them. Yeah, we're just gonna go, actually. We're gonna stop murdering the homeless and just go. Right, so they weren't desperately friendly. They weren't willing to just quietly accept a donation of money or anything. They were planning to attack us, or we were planning to attack them, or Vic is just a monster. One of the above. And actually, we've been very lucky for a while. Barely anything on this trip between Modoc and the Den. Marvellous. And we're over the mountains and almost there. On to faster moving ground momentarily. And unless we get very unlucky in the final seconds, we have made it back to the Den. Right, haven't been here for a while. So, first things first, I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. And hopefully, some of these guys have actually got some money inside their shops. And oh, hello, excuse me. We've got ourselves, kind lazy, please help a poor starving man who is too sick to work. You know what? Here's five dollars. I've got plenty of money. You're welcome. Leave me alone now, please. And this guy's got himself five stim packs, a bit of 10 millimeter ammo. Not much money, really. Fine, I guess we just trade. How much are these shotguns worth, by the way? About $800 each. Gotcha. And both of them are actually worth, yeah, about the same as five stim packs, which I'll consider a decent enough trade. Toss in some ammo to keep Sulik going as well. Love it. And I'll toss you a 10mm automatic. And actually, that works out pretty much perfectly. And Rebecca over the street, sadly, has no money whatsoever. So we might not be able to offload any more goods here. Still, we are going to go back to Klamath. So we can just actually sell some guns there too. Ah, but hang on. Isn't there the fence over here? Yeah, you might be willing to buy some guns. There we go, shotgun ammo, that is the 223, that is a, ooh, a hunting rifle, hang on, is that the same as my, no, that's different from my assault rifle, right, how good is that, I don't know, ah, that's what the 223 is used for, a hunting rifle, gotcha, okay, how much for that, because I might be interested, ooh, that's, that's expensive, mind, you know what, give me a second, I've got a bunch of stuff on my companions, just, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do a trade for this stuff. So, he wants $2,800 for hunting rifle, together with, yeah, a bit of ammo for it. Well, I do happen to have, uh, yeah, a couple of SMGs fresh from the wasteland. Love it. A Magnum revolver that we don't seem to want to be using for anything anymore. So that's got us most of the way there as well. One knife and Desert Eagle. Ah! I took that off Vic. I'll actually return that to him because, yeah, I would like him to have that spare. Though, actually, before we do that, I wouldn't mind actually just putting those two side by side just to be sure I know which one's better. So, hunting rifle, damage range of 8 to 20, range of 40, ammo 10 out of 10. 
So honestly, barely any better than the Assault Rifle. Just a tiny bit more, just because of, yeah, the higher damage range, but not much really. And also, doesn't come with Burst Fire. Arguably, probably worse overall. And as for Desert Eagle versus Magnum Revolver, I don't know what the hell you're on about there, Vic, but the Magnum Revolver is definitely better. Both the lowest and highest damage rolls are definitely superior. So... I've no idea why you didn't want to use that. Possibly because of the range. I don't know. So, Vic gets the 44 Magnum back. Just in case he runs out of ammo for his shotgun. If he gets a bit burst happy with it. And the Desert Eagle I'll trade away for a tiny bit of ammo for that hunting rifle. Together with one stim pack and a handful of dollars. Yeah, that'll do. And now I'm swimming in stim packs, which is a much better position to be in. And I really need to keep my eye out for... Yeah, 5mm. Because that assault rifle is going to run dry pretty fast. But here's the big one right here. The car. We need to buy it off him and we've definitely got the money for that. We've got the fuel cell controller. We've got the fuel cell regulator. We should have everything we need here. And here we go. The thing from Gecko. The controller. And uh, let old Smitty here take a look at it. And here it is. Uh, that's an old fuel cell controller. But if you use that with the old high women, I could get a purring like a kitten. Operational car. Beautiful. So, $2,000. He'll sell me the car. He'll install the fuel cell controller. And I'm not actually sure what the regulator's for, but I've got that too, just in case. But you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it. We've got the money. Let's make it happen. So this, I believe, might be my car, is it? Hello there. And... Ooh, I've got a car. <laughs> nice in the car is... Ooh. Does the car have health or ammo or something? I don't know, but actually, I want to stay in the den just for now. And there we go. I've now got a car right here. Beautiful. So the next question is, uh, what exactly was the fuel cell regulator for? Is that something to do with, like, ammo efficiency or something? Some car owners installed this regulator, which doubles your car's mileage between charges, but most drivers didn't care how much juice their cars consumed. After all, power's cheap and plentiful. Aha! So, can I install that by myself, or do I need him to do that? So, use regulator on a car, and can we do that? And, is, is that done? You failed to install the fuel cell regulator. Right, try it again. You fail. And, try it a third time. Right, you know what, I'm gonna go chat with Smitty, just in case he can do it. Here we go. I found a part for the car, but I can't install it. So, fuel cell regulator, that'll give you better mileage per energy cell. I could put it in for you, but that'll cost $750. You know what? Deal. Let's get it done. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually ask him how to make the car run, so I'm not actually 100% sure what sort of fuel it needs or anything. So, if you could just let me know down in the comments how this car works precisely and how I recharge the thing when it runs out of mileage, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Still, let's make this happen here. So... Hop in car. Everybody inside, please. Lovely. And now, I would like to go to Klamath. Yeah, that's the stuff. Let's go back to Klamath. Chat to Smiley. Sell some... Actually, I'm out of stuff to sell. But I need to go over to Klamath anyway. And it's a nice, easy drive. So, let's just... Oh, whoa. Okay. So, we're going at speed now. Awesome. I love it. Alright, so this is going to make getting around the wasteland a whole lot easier. Now, where is Whiskey Bob's place? Or rather, not Whiskey Bob's place, but the place where Whiskey Bob drinks. It was... Hang on, I've forgotten where everything is in this town. There it is, it's over here. Here we go. I sure owe you for saving my hide. Least I can do is teach you something in return. And by any chance? Yes! Geckos! Love it! In fact, now I think about it... Hang on. The Toxic Caves... That was full of geckos, but I could easily handle them these days. But, more importantly, there was a generator I couldn't fix. But, now I've got Vic with me, who can repair anything that I can't repair. Especially as these days that is so close by, so yep, just head straight over there, drive straight over the top of a mountain, screw you, straight to the toxic caves. Oh, I love the car. The car is good. Do drop a save, though, because some of these idiots insist on running straight through the goo. Now... I do also have myself, yes, yeah, some Wellington boots, which will keep me safe as long as I've got them in my inventory, I think. But I've only got two pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Sulik to stay right here until I get back. 
So Suleg, yeah, you just wait here for the time being. And as for Vic, he's coming with me because I need him to do the repairing. Yeah, I need to actually give him one of the pairs of boots. Then presumably, we'll both be safe, right? In fact, you know what? For now, Sulek, you can follow me for the minute because you've got plenty of health. So if you just kind of pass through some ooze, then that'll be fine. We'll maybe leave you behind when we get to the big part of ooze at the end. But if I've got this correct, now I can walk through the goo... And so can Vic, but Sulik can't without potentially taking some damage if he's stupid enough to walk into it. So everybody down the hole, we need to murder ourselves some geckos. Luckily, the ones that were already dead seem to still be dead, so that's good. In fact, there's no point causing trouble with all these ones down over here. May as well take the route up north because, yeah, we know that's already safe and there's much less goo in it. Alright, let's just see how Sulik does here. So I'm going to run straight through this. Vic can as well. Sulik can't, however. He's taking two hit points of damage a go, which is honestly not really that much because he'll still have like 80% of his health after we're through. So uh, screw it. Sulik, you're coming with me because you've got the health to take it. So two, three, and he's through. Love it. Right. Now, need to repair generator, if I recall correctly. So I'm going to try and repair this. I'm going to fail, and then Vic's going to do it for me. There we go, and okay, we failed, but we're going to keep trying, damn it. And I'm just going to actually equip a pair of tools, because I believe that gives you plus 20 to repair or something. So keep on trying, and come on. Come on, guys, we can do this. Oh, hang on. You repair the generator and start it up. Flip, we've done it. Okay, right. Do I need to do something with this console now that we've actually restored power? You see computer. Okay, um, science the computer, please. And I failed to learn anything. Okay, does the elevator work regardless? Do I actually need to do anything with the computer right now? And the elevator appears to be... Oh, wow. Well, locked. That I can work with, actually. And it looks like you need an electrical device to open this lock. That might be more problematic, actually. Hang on. Is that something over there I might be able to use? I might need to science or something. Ooh, Radaway. Oh, that's very useful, actually. Thank you. Right, well, tragically, that exact description means I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I need. There's, like, some electronic lockpick device or something. It was in Fallout 1. So, uh, I'm guessing until I actually get that, I cannot get in here. Because I've tried sciencing the computer in the generator room over and over. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, uh, given I've been given the specific message, you need an electric device. Yeah, I'm going to need electronic lockpicks before I can crack this open. That's a shame. I thought we could get in here. Boo. Well, bare minimum, we can kill a gecko on the way out. This gecko now has barely any health left. So, just finish you off. And we can have your hide off you too. Love it. And there we go, one golden gecko pelt. Why not, eh? Right, in which case, we may as well nip back to Klamath itself, because uh, we can sell the golden gecko pelt there. That's worth a decent amount of money. Yep, $125. Not so bad at all. Okay, so, next destination. Now we're back on this side of the world, we may as well stay here. So, uh, there is the slaver camp right there. Where I can be pretty confident that, yeah, potentially, Sulik's sister is going to be located. We could finally sort that out. Redding's down in that direction, but that will bring me straight back through the den. You know what? I'm going to see whether we're maybe capable of dealing with the slaver camp. So, uh, let's just be on our way at ridiculous speeds, quite frankly. Oh, I love it. I'm absolutely loving this car. This is wonderful. This is speeding things up a ridiculously large amount. Over to the slaver cab. No problem there whatsoever. Hello there, guys. So we've got the stench of unwashed slaves. And up ahead is a house with several armed slavers milling about. Now, if this is just a small encampment, it's possible it's not even that well guarded. In fact, yeah, it seems to be pretty small, all things considered. I'm not seeing a huge amount here. And there's the slaves. Right, so, we need to rescue these guys. But let's see if at the bare minimum, we might be able to sort this out, you know, without murder. But actually, first, let's have a chat to Sulek. See if he's got anything to say in terms of the spirits. Spirits be willing to talk. What you want. 
Talk about this place in particular. Is your sister here? Grampy Bones said we should leave here. Right, you don't want to be here. Understandable, really. But to be honest, we are liberating these slaves, so deal with it. Now, who can we speak to? This is private property, no loitering. All right. How about if we want to speak to the big boss inside? Because I'm supposed to be here. I'm allowed to be here. It's fine. Hello there. You lost or something? And here we go. Who the hell are you? Right. So, Metzger sent me, all right? I knew where you were because I was told. So no reason for this to go horribly wrong just yet. And he fidgets uncomfortably. Don't tell me you want some more slaves already. For flip's sake, we just sent a shipment last week. So, what do we need to do? So I can look at the stock and I have very particular taste and that's not creepy in the slightest. Or, alternatively, he's going to be entertaining some big shot from New Reno, wants a couple more girls for the occasion, but if you can't spare any, I'm sure the boss will be thrilled when I return empty-handed. So, I could potentially get Sulik's sister out of here immediately by just basically going down this route. So... Actually, if nothing else, this might pull a few people down to the cages so I can start splitting them off into small groups I can pick off. Here, take the key to the shack. That's where we keep our personal favourites. The pick of the litter, if you will. Right, well, this is creepy as anything. Still, I've got the key. And yeah, the shack, I'm guessing, is where Sulik's sister's gonna be. So, let's see if we can just actually get in here and see what's going on. And hang on, just get that key right there. And get that into position. Lovely. So, use key on door. Right, in we go. And, oh good, everything's a nightmare. Now, by any chance, Sulek, are you going to recognise some of these individuals? Sulek, anything you've got to say here? Can I actually open up this door too, by any chance? And, sturdy gate. Hello there. And we've got ourselves Sulek's sister. Do the spirits be teasing? Is that really you, brother? And no, I'm the chosen one, but you must be thinking of Sulik who's standing right next to me. So, we've got ourselves a sister. Moments later, a twig snaps outside the building, and Sulik lets go of his sister and reaches for his weapon as he glances at the door. Okay, are we walking into an ambush here? So, bone spirits say you'd be leading Sulik, name's Karisu, but now's not the time for proper greetings. Please, you need to get us out of the cage and away from the wicked men ruled by spirits of lust. Filthy dogs will not be laying hands on us again. And yes, indeed, this place is a bit of a nightmare. So, two choices here. We're outnumbered here. I've got the key. Let's keep it quiet. We'll sneak our way out of here. Or these bastards are going to pay. You know what? We're getting everybody out. Not just his sister, the people down in the other cage as well. Screw these bastards, we're gonna make this happen. And Sulik has actually decided to start running immediately. Okay, this is good. I've gained 500 XP for reuniting them. This could go wrong though. Right, I'm just gonna drop a save because I suspect this is going to go wrong a couple of times before we figure it out. And I really, really, really hope that his sister might be willing to help with this. Because we're a little bit short-handed right now. You know what? Let's just actually yeah, end my turn right there. We're not in a good position to start off here. And, okay, use the gun. Use the gun. Please use the actual gun. Right, okay. We can pick off this guy right now. So, one, two, three. And then one shot to... Okay, apparently I don't have a shot. Um, one more. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a shot. And that does some good damage. Right, 15 hit points and you have 50 more with a sledgehammer. Well, that's fine. You're about to be burst fired, so I'm not too concerned about that. So, yeah, end my turn there. Hopefully, Sulik gets a go momentarily. And actually, oh, please don't burst fire. Right, that was actually a critical for 12. Now he's on the ground. Okay, now we can actually finish him off. In fact, actually, you know what? As we've got pretty much a guaranteed hit... I'm going to go for 95 in the eyes. And if we're lucky, we have indeed just blown his face off. Love it. Now, this direction, we need to take out the dog. Because otherwise that's going to cause trouble down the line. So, one, two, three, four, five. And one shot into... Nope, needs to be a normal shot, actually. One shot into the dog, please. That won't actually kill it, but if we're lucky, someone else will come around here. Yep, that is a couple of misses, because I've got good armor class. Guys, leave it be. 
This one's mine, thank you. Right, dog taken care of. Can we end combat right here? And uh, no, nearby hostile creatures. We need to finish off literally all of them. Gotcha. But when I say all of them, there's not that many actually. There's, yeah, one here, one at the front. Inside the building, that is, yeah, just five more. Not all of them have guns. And then down by the cages, one more with a gun. This isn't even that bad. We can manage this. So yeah, Desert Eagle at the front. That's not the most dangerous thing at all. At the back, another Desert Eagle. Again, not so bad, really. Best we actually stick to... Yeah, the front door. Let's take out that guy first. I think he's actually got more health. Yeah, he's got 84 hit points. So let's actually rush him before anyone else gets outside. Oh, they're coming in, though. They are coming in. Right, okay. Use the building for cover for the time being. So don't get yourself exposed too quickly here. He runs to us. And now, oh, be really careful, guys. Be bloody careful. Right, that's another one that's going to go down nice and easy right here. How much health do you have? Because I don't think it was actually that much. You're on 44 right now. I might be able to finish you off with two normal shots. So I'm going to do that. Because that is... Hang on. That was 19. Okay, probably won't quite finish you off. No, got lucky there. Got lucky with the critical. He's now been taken care of. Love it. Uh, keep reloading. So the guy at the back door is now done. Move to the front door. Clear out that guy. Unless, of course... There we go. We can actually wrap up combat. They might not actually know. All right. Time to figure out whether they're going to be hostile to me. Or do they not know that everything has gone... They know everything's gone wrong. Okay. Luckily, you just missed. Now, they're going to be filing out of this door one by one. But some of them have spears, not guns. You can just be shot. And we got really lucky there. Critical and knocked him to the ground. So in which case... Put another bullet in him. That should be a guaranteed hit. Right, they're starting to come outside. Sadly, I'm not very good at the old throwables. You just shot Vic. Don't shoot Vic. Guys, get closer. As they come out of the door, hit them with as much spray and spread as we can actually get away with. We need to be hitting loads of them simultaneously if we can. So, I'm going to start moving forward here. One, two, three, four, five. And one bullet at this guy. Let's keep him down if we can. That's another 15. They're starting to run outside. Okay, really, really be careful because we're in a big line right now and I don't like it. But actually, oh, this is good. This is good. He's running inside. That's one. No, that's me, you stupid bastard. Please stop. Right, okay. Go over to the rifle because right now, this is burst central right here. Look at them. They're on a big line. And, oh, yeah, that'll do the job. So, one of them is very, very dead, but I've only got 59 hit points, which is fine, but not spectacular, and there's more of them coming, though one of them's running away to go and heal. The one still inside is the spear guy, so these guys are arguably the most dangerous of all. I'm going to take a few steps away, because right now I'm two lined up together. One, two, three, four, and there we go, big hit over there. I get shot, but not that hard. I get shot again, not that hard. I get shot again, but that was a miss. Oh, good shot by Sulek. Loving that shot by Sulek. Right, another burst right here. And that does a bit of damage, but sadly, doesn't do a huge amount, actually. Do I want to fall back? I'm going to fall back too, because I'm actually good at range because of my perception. So I feel like actually, being a bit further away from them, good idea. And there goes a miss. Come on, Vic. You need to get a bit closer. I'm taking damage and it's starting to add up, actually. That's a big hit right there. Okay. What's the situation with these guys who are still alive? You have 38 hit points. You have full health at 80. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two single shots at her. And I'm going to finish her off. And how did you miss? It was 95% chance to hit. Right, as I can't kill her, I'm going to change tactics and I'm going to use an inventory item to both heal up and reload. Okay, that's that done. I've got a bit of health back. I'm going to fall back even further just so they've got a minimal chance of hitting me. Vic is way too far away. Why are you not getting involved? Luckily, he's run forward. She's been shot again. This guy is still dangerous. I'm a bit worried about this. Right, take a shot there. We must 
be able to finish her off. She's now dead. One left outside. That's a big hit right there. No, it's not. It's a miss. And I'm going to be shot again. Seriously, Sulik. I need you to. Good job, Sulik. Good job. But actually, the leader was only hit for seven. He's actually in really good shape right now. So, yes, yeah, 73. So what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to do another stim pack. I'm going to do an inventory item. Then I'm going to do an aim shot, ideally to the eyes. Here we go. Single and aimed. And what can we do here? 95 to the head. I'll take that. That's safer. Was that a 19? Not spectacular. It'll do. Take two more steps back just to increase the chance of missing. That was a hit for eight. I've been shot for 11. That's a big burst. Oh, it's not a big burst. It's not doing much at all. Okay. I can at least get two single shots on this guy. You know what? I need to actually change Vic's behavior. He's staying too far back. 12 and dead. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. So he was the biggest, most dangerous one. Everybody else is either already wounded or armed with a spear. Yeah, he's got like two hit points left. This is good stuff right here. Let's move in. Finish them off, please. And Vic is now getting closer. That guy's making a run for it. I don't think he's getting away, actually. Shoot him in the back. You're a slaver. You're scum. And now you're dead. Right, now get over here. And be ready to take out the spear guy. Anything? One, two, three, four, five. I went too far forward. Right, back out again. Back out again. <laughs> Where's the spear person? Oh, it's my turn again. Fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. And as a result of that, take a shot. And... I need to reload. Right, um, in that case, let's go over to the actual basic rifle. The rifle is fine. So, take a shot there. And that's not nice at all. I'm going to teach you some manners. Right, well, you're the most polite person I've come across in the entire wasteland so far. End my turn right there, please. Are they actually going to come at me? Yes, yeah, she is actually coming at me right now. Do not take a burst shot, Sulik. Don't even think about it. Right, sharpen spear. That's not going to do too much to me unless I get really unlucky. So, in which case, go back over to pistol. And I need to reload it. And then I need to take, yeah, three steps back. And then, hang on. No, two steps back. Then an aimed shot. So, that is fine. Just to make her waste some actual points coming to me. 95. In the eyes. And any chance of a critical? Yes, 54 hit points and blindness. Love it. Right, back over to a normal shot right over here. That finishes you off. And that only leaves one person left over down by the cages. Oh, we are going to save everybody because we are big damn heroes. Oh, hang on, no. There's two people down by the cages. That's fine. We've taken out plenty and I'm very good at extreme range. Right, before we go any further, let's just actually loot these bodies. Because they're probably going to have some good stuff on them. Actually, it's mostly 10mm pistols. These guys are not that well armed. Though interestingly, one of these slavers had an expensive necklace. Silver, gold and pressed diamonds. Okay, not sure if that's a quest thing, but we'll take it. Right, in we go. And oh, they're going to run at me actually. That works, especially as only one of them's running right now. Right, I'm good at range. Let's just start getting some damage on him. So 13. And another good hit there for 21. And another good hit for 8. And Vic was actually shot instead. That guy actually totally misses. Yeah, I really need to change Vic's uh, behavior. Right, so. One. And another. You've got to be nearly dead. There we go. One of them's dead already. And now take a shot at you. Slave was hitting right leg for 13. I'm still a bit low on the old health, but actually, hang on. Let's just check where we are here. So, 67 out of 80 hit points. And what are you actually armed with? Okay, shotgun, meaning very bad at long range. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I'll actually be falling back, thank you. So, I'll just take a shot at you, and you're probably going to have to run at me. There we go. He runs forward, wastes his turn, and now we should be in good shape to hopefully finish him off. How are you doing these days? 32. Yeah, actually. One shot right here. 95. And got lucky with a critical. Love it. Right. That should be literally every slaver dead, right? Yep. All the slavers dead. One of you presumably still has the key to the cage. Right. No key, actually. So can we actually open this thing? Appears to be locked. Well, I can sort that out. Congratulations. You're all free. Uh-oh. My lack of skill has jammed the lock on this door. 
Oh, no. No. No, no, no. That's not fair. I saved all the slaves. And I've actually got good lock picking. Oh, balls. And I didn't save because I didn't even consider that as a problem. Right. Um. So you're all going to die of exposure now. Sorry about that. Okay, at the bare minimum, we can get Sulik's sister out, okay? All of these people are dead. Everything's fine. And is it safe? Have you sent the slavers to the spirits? I have indeed, but... Can I actually free all the slaves? Is that even... Oh, I think I actually physically can't do the right thing anymore. Because I've broken the lock on the slave pen. <laughs> um... How do I fix this? I don't know how. Okay, I don't have a time bomb, but I do have a grenade. So, if everybody would like to just stand back, I'm going to see if I'm actually allowed to... Oh. Okay, the only option would be... If I try and throw it at you, but fail, it might blow out the door. I've dropped a save in case I'm about to declare war on the slaves, which I don't want to do, so... I didn't want to do that. That was the thing I didn't want to do. Okay, let's try some other options here. Lockpick. Can I actually use the lockpick item? Fail to pick the... Ooh. Hang on. That still seems to be working. Okay. Hang on. Can I actually go back to... The lock is jammed. But the actual item lets me keep having a go. Um, okay. That's interesting. And... I've jammed the lock a second time. <laughs> Apparently this is a good lock. Right. Option number two. Can I actually just wait? And then like hopefully it fixes itself. Okay, following morning. And... You failed to pick. Okay, good. It seems to reset. And come on guys, seriously. I'm actually good at lock picking. How is this failing so much? I just found a better solution. I've used a shotgun. Yeah, that's a much better solution. I enjoyed that. Congratulations, you've all been freed. Except the game still seems to think that it's there. Hang on. What? No. I literally just blew the gate apart. Right, reload and try this again. And continue trying to blow open gate. Because that, that did work a second ago. Then it didn't. Okay. I've managed to blast it open again. Though the game's very fussy about when it does and doesn't allow that. So, does the game consider this door open? No. The game doesn't consider the door open. And now... Okay, hang on. Is there still... Is there still officially a door there? Um, yes, I believe there is officially still a door there. Even though I've just blown it open. I just remembered that I actually already have the keys. Because... That's a thing that I have, and... Which mean that does nothing. That's the keys. I mean, it's the keys to the shed, not to the... To this thing, but... Ah! I do unlock the gate! Right! Now, guys! Yay! We've actually managed to get the slaves free! I'm so sorry that took a while. I got a bit confused. Right, Sulik's sister. I think we're now actually all done here. So, yep, they've been taken care of, and... I freed all the slaves. Right, I'm pretty sure I freed all the slaves. If there's any slaves left, screw them, we're going. Bye. And I think we've just teleported straight over to the village. So praise the spirits. We're home at last. Thank you so much, friend. And you're welcome. How exactly were you captured, by the way? We were trading in a nearby village. Slavers came. Much bloodshed and chaos. Then everything went dark. Awoke in a packed cage reeking of shit. Soon moved to a smaller cage with ones they'd like to be keeping. Keep to many slaves come and go. Sad to see people be treated like cattle. Well, don't you worry. We've just made a pretty big impact on slavery in the local region. Hopefully, that will actually damage them a bit. And his sister gives Sulik her blessing to keep travelling with me. Marvellous. And a thousand XP as well. Beautiful. But there might be more here yet, though. That is, yeah, a green internal transition zone over towards the west. And another down at the south as well. And I can't help but notice there is a guardian to the tribe leader. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. We have got ourselves a car, and that is certainly going to make moving around the wasteland a whole lot easier. And on top of that, we have rescued Sulik's sister, we have killed a big old number of slavers, 
I have remembered that locks are opened with keys, which is very, very important indeed. And next time, we will figure out what's going on in Sulik's tribe. And after that point, I think it's time for us to move on to Reading. That's pretty close by, and we know a bit about it now. A mining community that's gone mysteriously quiet in recent days. So, we will see what's going on there next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut, and this has been Fallout 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.